This is the Great Voltager for three-year-olds, a race won by eventual Melbourne Cup favourite Deauville legend last year. Gregory is the favourite for training team John and Thaddy Gosden. Great Voltager takes a Group 2 contest, all five. Old entries are a bit fence of ledger, and they break away from the stalls and chased up Gregory coming out of the stalls. Just a bit lethargic early on as Canberra legend jumped well. Frankie Dottori staying wide with Gregory. Looks if the intention is to go forward. Artistic star Rob Hornby glances across to see that Frankie is going on with things using that uh, wide path that he often does when he's intent on leading a field. The camera legend's going to push up underneath as his artistic star and just keep Frankie out slightly as they come towards this little elbow in the back straight. The three of them, as a result, are pressing on. Cast away in fourth and continuous. Ryan Moore out the back, but doesn't appear that bothered. There are a couple of decent early sections there in terms of speed. Sub 12 seconds before Gregory has now won the battle for the lead with artistic star. Canberra legend has handed up that position at the moment and now Frankie Dottori will just try and steady things down. Cast away and continuous may have been slightly more evenly rated during the first half mile of this race but it's Gregory who has the lead. In second Canberra legend on the inside artistic star and Castleway moves forward. Continuous is in fifth place and still about three lengths behind the other runners and now just being shaken up slightly as they make the bend. So it's Gregory has the advantage. That advantage is half a length over Canberra legend. Artistic star is just being pushed along in third place. Castleway likewise. And in fifth is continuous. This looks like it's going to be an honest test of the trip. A few of them being pushed along a long way from home here. Not yet Gregory, who still has the lead. Canberra legend sitting in attendance on the outside. Then artistic star Castleway and continuous has yet to bridge the gap. Last of the five as they make their way up the home straight. Gregory with Canberra legend up on the outside. Then Castleway. Castle Way towards the inside is Artistic Star and Continuous still with three lengths to find but just beginning to close Continuous as Gregory tries to kick again from the front. Castle Way emerges out of the pack then Canberra Legend and Continuous he is now beginning to find full stride on the outside. Gregory being pressed by Castle Way down the outside Continuous as Ryan Moore judged this to perfection as Continuous on the outside of Castle Way the two that sat out the back early are in front Could artistic star and Canberra legend really paid for that in the closing stages? I think we'll probably find that tempo early on. Aidan O'Brien does it again. Continuous. The Japanese bred three year old is also nominated for the Irish Champion Stakes over 2,000 metres, September 9th, and the Irish St. Ledger on the 10th of September. They've got a few options. He's also down for the St. Ledger at Doncaster on September 16th. Check the odds. Said a long way from home, Ryan wins this, and he was absolutely spot on here, Ryan Ollie. Yeah, he got the fraction spot on. We'll, we'll just find out what Ryan made of it. Um, the guys on the on the podium just the, the story know. of this race surely is Ryan. Oh, oh, come on, come on. Early now, Listen, look. we can talk about all the jockeys, and you know you can drop him anywhere globally. The early stages, that rush from everybody to get going. He probably was first out of the gates. He's put his hands on his neck. Everybody chased up. They went gung-ho in the early stages. We're talking about world-class riders. They went flat to the boards. He's the only one who sat out the back. Different class. And to be fair, you got it wrong with the Aiken winner, but you said a long way from home, Ryan wins this, and he was absolutely spot on here, Ryan Ollie.